Hey guys, Kabyashi here, and welcome to what will hopefully be the first in a series of Let's Plays looking at games from a vegan perspective, a vegan way of living. And we're going to be playing mainly strategy games like Civ 5 and Banished. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Banished is a town building, real time strategy game um, where the, the idea is to try and balance um, your population along with the resources they need to live so enough. Uh, housing and food and clothing and tools and all this kind of stuff and it can be pretty tricky to get the the balance right so you've got enough food etc to last them through the winter anyhow let's get into it we're going to load up a map that I uh, created previously so we can get straight into it okay so might we pause good let me just get up all the panels I need okay cool right so we'll start off let's have a little look around the map playing on medium sized maps as you can see it's a fairly good size but we're mainly covered with trees and hills so unfortunately we're going to have to clear out a little bit of space to start with get rid of some of these trees and things in this area just to make space for us to plant some crops um, but after that hopefully we'll be able to keep most of the trees so that we've got you know we're not affecting the animals environments and we can live off herbs and berries and nuts and things like that anyhow Start off with stick a couple of roads down here. And let's get a crop field built. Houses for people to live in. Uh, here we go. And we'll go and clear everything just around over here. Right, okay, we're going to go ahead and unpause, let our people get on and st start building away. How's this going up? Good. Crop field, right, what do we want? Beans, that will do. Get someone working there. <coughs> As you can see, it really does look very nice, nice a beautiful game for something that's been created pretty much as far as I recall by one guy all on his own and selling on Steam for 10 15 quid. It's quite amazing. Right, so now planting some crops over here. Now we're going to need what do we need? A gatherer. Where's a gather? Uh, gather side, here we go. Right. right, that will do there, I think. And let's put on the other side a herbalist. Yep, good. Do. Yeah, it's fine. And 
do with a house over here just for them to live in. There we go. Storage is the capacity, that's fine. Right, here we go. Excellent. So we click on this button here, it will tell us to give us our yields for the previous and last season. No, previous and current season, sorry. So we can use that. These fields should give us about eight or nine hundred of the relevant crops, which is pretty good. With some more storage, little storage places, stockpile, here we go. Still planting over here, it's fine. We've got 1300 food. Now we're also going to need to set up some what we've got stored logs, stored firewood. Yeah, some logging and some chopping. So let's go ahead and put cut logs into firewood, forester, okay, forester's going to go over here, not build that yet though we need to get a bridge built here first up the logs as they come back in to our little village. So we're doing yes, got a few oh we need some more builders, right. There we go. Six builders. Let's go and mark out another crop field while we're here. coming up. Okay, so you'll see that some of our houses have lots of people in them. One, two, three, five in there, only two there, five again in here. And as your uh, city expands, you will only get new members of your population if the space is in a house. Like here you've got two adults and three children already. So they might possibly fill up some more space with children. I think you can have eight eight space in each house. Whereas here you've got three adults so they probably won't. But here you've only got two adults so there's plenty of space. There's no other adults in there so they're probably going to provide you some more population. Right. Let's get someone in here. 
Oops. We can finish building this now. Has he harvested this already? Ah, oh, there we go. 800, excellent. Right, okay, let's go. Get one in here. Get someone in here. So I'm going to be playing for about 5 or 10 minutes more uh, before we have a break, a cut, and then record the next episode. Um, so we'll just go a little bit more in, try and get a couple more houses up and uh, a mine over here maybe so we can start getting some metals, some iron and coal. Forest at last. Builder, right? Go, don't need any builders at the minute. Put that down. So our forest over here is going to just go all around this area within this circle, planting and chopping down trees. Provide us with wood. And hopefully it should keep this area nice and stocked. Plenty of trees around there. Oh, it's a waste of time. And this guy will provide us with logs. Firewood rather from the logs. Which will hopefully keep everyone warm in the winter. Stop them from freezing to death. Reserve of food is low. 229. That's yeah, okay. Everyone's got plenty in their houses, so that shouldn't be a problem. Still got a few people without houses. Let's uh, get a couple more in. And over here, we're going to go ahead and build a mine. And then we can start... ...building some tools and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get another forester in there because we're running a bit short still on logs. 
Okay, another adult. A few more children, that's good. 16 and 6. Okay, got a few minutes left. What do we need? Logs. Need more logs, come on. Let's pause this guy for a minute. We don't need logs for a little while yet. And in a little while, probably next episode, we're going to come down here, build ourselves a little market. No, not to market, a trading post. And then uh, a merchant will come along the water here every so often, come to our trading post, and we'll be able to sell goods that we've made, any excess food and stuff like that. And in return, we can purchase more seeds and things like that so we can grow uh, different crops. And that should help with keeping our people nice and healthy, having lots of different types of food, a balanced diet. Anyhow, I think that will do it for the first episode. So if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I shall be back shortly with episode two. Cheers.